Hey y'all, so it's been a while. It's been a while since I did like a little sit chat, sat chat, whatever you wanna call it. So anywho, how y'all been doing? I've been doing fabulous. Um, life has just been good, but I've been going through a little bit personally lately, you know, and I don't know, I'm a, let me explain. I'm a very giving, very, um, I don't know, I'm very much a giver. I am rarely given to, but I'm very much a giver. And I don't know what is wrong with people these days, but you ever like felt like you were under attack and your attack is coming from people that you really love that are really close to you and it kind of catches you off guard because those are the people that are close to you know and the people that you love and i'm really finding that i am i am under attack right now but it's okay you know i have had some people that are really close to me like really hurt me lately and it's crazy because um I think sometimes in life we don't expect the people that are close to us to hurt us and sometimes I think people are not like really aware that they're hurting you you know so I am one of the most down-to-earth people that you would ever meet um like I said I'm a giver I love people anybody that really like knows me know that i am that type of person however there are times that you're going to be under attack by satan and satan and the only way sometimes that he can get to you is like through your family people that you love people that you care about but you know you have to understand and realize which is what i'm understanding and realizing that it's not necessarily the person or the people it is just that satan sometimes feel like he wants to attack you and you know he tries so many other ways that he couldn't get in the door but he goes to your loved ones um and you gotta be able to identify first of all you got to be able to identify that it is Satan because that's what it is. That's who it is. I don't really firmly, I firmly don't believe that it's the person or the people. It's just that they're, they're under attack. They're not realizing that Satan is actually using them to get to you. You know, and I've had to kind of like back up and just say, you know what, until they get themselves together. And I'm saying until Satan is being finished with them and realize he can't get to me through them, then I'm just going to back off. You know what I'm saying? Like back off and just kind of leave them alone and let them just do their own thing. I'll still love them. I'll still respect them. But at the same time, I'm just going to back off until this storm and this season is over. You know what I'm saying? Because they only last, it doesn't last long because trust me, when Satan sees that he can't really like get to you, he's going to back up off of them. And then, you know, things will return to normal. Normal. I firmly believe that. Um, and a lot of times, you know, recently I've been accused of changing and just a lot of stuff, y'all. But, you know, I realize I can't fight the changing because in life we're going to change we're going to become better people we're going to become different people so i can't argue when someone says that i've changed because i am changing i am evolving and i'm letting god use me and come into my life so therefore i expect a change i expect for people to see a change and sometimes people can't identify and don't realize and understand that that change that you that they see in you it's not bad it's actually good you know what i'm saying like it's a bad wind that never changes as her grandmother used to say all the time it's a bad wind that don't change so if i sit here and say i haven't changed i don't change y'all took my earrings out when i was actually doing another video but um if I sit and say I don't change, I'm not a person that changes, I would be lying because hopefully I do change. And I really firmly know 
and understand that I'm going to change and that it's going to be for the best. And sometimes when you're changing and you're not doing things, you know, let's say you're taking off a layer and putting on a new layer, people won't recognize you. They won't recognize you. They'll know that you've changed and they can take it as, you know, you act different. You don't act how you used to act. But just remember that you're not supposed to. Like, I'm not supposed to change. When God is dealing and dwelling with you, you're not going to be the same person. You know, and I've gone through transition and change. I've even been accused of being too happy. I've been told nobody is this happy. Well, you know, I say to that when God is in control of your life, because he's very much in control of my life, and you turn over your problems and your issues and things to him, then you can walk around happy. I mean, y'all, I honestly, you know, I go through things. Everybody go through things. Um, however, how do you act when you're in those things? I can't walk around with my problems on my face. I just can't, you know, because I've given my promise to God. I've given my children to God. I've turned over, just turned over my worries, frustrations, disappointments to him. So when you turn it over to him, you can walk around with a smile on your face. You can't be happy. I mean, I was shocked when somebody told me I'm too happy and nobody is that happy. Well, when God is in control of your life and he's driving, you know, when God is driving, he's in the driver's seat, you can walk around happy. You can walk around with a smile on your face and people, people mistake that from, you, you know, people mistake that to think that you think you're better than anybody else. You think you're just because nobody is that happy. Well, guess what? I'm just that happy. And y'all, I've. I had a grandmother. My grandmother was like one of those people that if she hurt, my grandmother was 80 something years old. You didn't know she was hurting. You know, it's just like she taught me to pray about it and forget about it. You know what I'm saying? Turn it over to the Lord and let it go. So I just want to encourage somebody that may be going through that um, because it can really get to you, especially when the people that you love kind of like turn on you and they turn on you because they don't understand you. And sometimes you can't explain yourself to people. You can't explain the transition that you've gone through. And a lot of times you can't take everybody with you. And that's what I realized, you know, is and beginning to really realize that everybody's not going to come along. You know, everybody can't celebrate in your happiness. Everybody's not going to be happy for you. Everybody is not going to be happy that you're happy. So you kind of just have to, you know, love them from a distance, but kind of, and it hurts sometimes and it's hard sometimes, but you can't spend your energy in people and how they feel like you should act and what they think you should be going through. And, you know, because they really don't know your story. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you really don't know a person unless you walk in their shoes. And really, you can't walk in people's shoes. Like, my children, I can't walk in their shoes as close as we are. You, I don't know what they experience on a daily basis. I mean, personally. Of course, you go through some of the same things and stuff like that, but it doesn't always affect people the same way. So I just really, I don't know y'all, I've been really attacked lately and I'm attacked for being happy, for being confident in who I am. And I just want to really encourage you to not allow the devil to take that from you because sometimes that's all we have to hold on to is our happiness and if I'm happy with me I'm happy on the inside I am blessed because I'm breathing because I have activity of my limbs God has just been good to me and there's no way that I could walk around even when I have problems and show I, it just it just doesn't work for me like that because you know what when things are not going my way I trust God you know I trust that He's going to give me exactly what it is that I need and what 
he wants me to have. And I don't have, if I don't have it, it's because God did not want me to have it. And I'm okay with that because what he has for me is for me and nobody can take that from me. So be encouraged and just know that sometimes people are going to say you change. Sometimes people are going to say you think you better, you know, and sometimes you're thinking you better just because you don't do the things that you used to do. And sometimes people don't understand that. And a lot of times it's not for them to understand. It's for you to know on the inside. And I constantly check myself just to make sure that I am, you know, no type of way. And it's not. I'm just happy. I'm happy in the Lord. I am happy with myself. Look, I am 45 years old. Thank God. And to be 45, you should be happy with who you are and where you've come from and what you're going through because your trials only make you stronger, you know? So don't let anybody steal your joy. Do not. And when they come at you with that stuff, look beyond them and see the God in them. Don't see the bad because they don't even realize what is going on at the time. So you be encouraged and just know that God is with you. He's never left you. He will never forsake you. And in your tough times, be happy. Just like in your good times, be happy. Because a lot of times, people are not going to be happy for you. And if you're not happy, you got to dig down deep and find a reason to be happy. All right, y'all? Even in your trials, find a reason to be happy. Because... Your trial on the other side of your trial is the victory, okay? You might be going through the storm, the rain, but just remember, on the other side, the sun is going to shine again. All right, y'all, be encouraged. Just stay true to yourself. And don't let anybody, nobody, steal your joy. All right, y'all, thanks so much for stopping by my channel. Be blessed, and I will check y'all in the next video. Bye.